Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the hotly anticipated Auto Ortho for X-Plane 12. Now essentially what Auto Ortho is, is, is a program that will stream Ortho scenery straight into your X-Plane 12, therefore not needing to have sort of gigabytes upon gigabytes, sometimes terabytes of Ortho installed locally onto your machine. Now I have been testing this and for me it has been running really really nicely. The quality is actually a lot higher than what I've downloaded because it's I think zoom level 18 I believe. So the quality is amazing, it streams really well. Uh, I've got a pretty I'd say average internet connection and it does work very well. That is the only caveat, you will need an internet connection for it to stream. And it's essentially similar to how Microsoft Flight Sim streams ground textures from Microsoft servers into the sim and this is essentially a very similar thing for x 12 however I think it's much much better. So let's get into the installation. Okay so first of all if you want your INI file or scenery packs file to look something like mine where you have these lines here which don't really mean anything they're purely sort of separators so as you can see it makes my scenery packs file look really nice and I can tell where everything is. Then Go ahead and look at the video in the description below and it's a very short video just showing you how to do this. I do recommend it because as you start installing more scenery your INI file can get very messy and it's difficult to find where stuff is. So I do recommend doing this but you don't have to. So if you want to go and watch our video you can go and watch that now it's in the description below then you can come back to this video or you can just stay on this video. First of all two things we need to download for this okay so we need to download this token. When you go there, you're greeted with this page on GitHub and just download dokensetup.exe, okay? So you can download that just literally by clicking it, okay? And here's where you download actual auto ortho and you just click on this and you can download that as well. Now I have those pre-downloaded as you can see on the left hand side here. So I have doken setup and auto ortho underscore win. Now this will show up as a zip file so you just need to unzip it using something like WinRAR or 7-zip. Uh, the link to WinRAR will be in the description below if you want to install that and unzip the file. But first of all what you want to do is run the Doken setup. Now because I've already got it installed it's only given me the option to uninstall. But it will just say install, just install that and it will literally take a few seconds and that will be installed. Then once you've unzipped the auto auto, okay, you can go into there. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see this auto auto underscore win. Okay. Now what you want to do is open that. Okay. Just let it load. This is our auto auto app. So there's actually not much to do. All you have to do is show where your explain scenery directory is. So just click browse and browse for your PC and just tell it where your custom scenery is. Click select folder. I didn't move this but I guess if you really wanted to you can, I left it where it is though. Next, what you want to do is go here and essentially what you need to do, you need to download these base files for it to work. So these base files will be local on your PC so it's not 100% sort of, it's not going to take up any space on your PC. It'll take up a little bit but they are quite small as you can see South America is 9 gigabytes, Africa is 11. Uh, North America was about 25 gigabytes and Europe was 16. Now the reason that the install isn't showing up is because I've already got it installed. Okay, but it'll just show up here as an install button. And if you click that, it'll go through the install. Uh, you'll see it being done in the command window on the left here. And once that's installed, you'll see all of these in your custom scenery folder. Okay, and that is pretty much it all installed. All we have to do is edit the scenery packs to INI file and put these in the correct spot. So once you have these downloaded, you can quit. And now what we're going to do is open explain so the scenery packs to INI reads these files and transfers them into here. Okay, so let's open explain and then we'll close straight back out of it. I'll do that now. Okay, as you can see, we are now in explain 12 just on the main menu. I'm just going to close straight out of this. Okay, now we've closed out of Xplane, we can open our scenery packs file and as you can see, all of these stuff we just installed will be loaded into our INI file. As you can see here, I have Z underscore EUR and Z underscore NA and each one has its own amount of files, okay? Now, 
EUR is Europe, NA is North America. So I've currently got Europe and North America installed. If you have others installed, then these letters may be slightly different, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Now, in terms of the scenery load order. Okay. So this auto ortho overlays, you can cut that and put that underneath your libraries just like that so essentially you want this anywhere under global airports now if you have sim heaven you want to make sure you have it under sim heaven as well if you want to know how to install sim heaven the second link in the description will be a video on how to install that again it's amazing especially with ortho it makes your x-plane look absolutely amazing so i really recommend it now because we've moved these overlays here okay sim heaven will actually overwrite it. So if you have Sim Heaven, your auto gen will run off Sim Heaven. However, if you don't have Sim Heaven, then you need this. And these are just regular auto overlays as you would have when you download it locally to your machine. If you want to, this is only if you have Sim Heaven installed, okay? You can actually disable this as it's not needed and it can save you some performance. If you do not have Sim Heaven, then you do need this, okay? So to disable it, just go here to scenery pack, type underscore and in all caps type disabled okay now that will be ignored by x-plane so it's not going to load these overlays because you've already got sim heaven overlays you don't need to essentially it can save you a lot of performance okay next we're going to copy and paste all of these okay excluding this file okay so cut that and we can put that just under the overlays just like that so essentially it's very similar to installing regular auto okay so you're gonna have your this is my regular auto as you can see here you're gonna have that at the bottom of your scenery file so i've just put that basically at the bottom and then my overlays now what i do recommend is if you do have auto installed locally before you go ahead and delete it and start using this just disable some tiles and then go and check out those tiles using auto ortho. Again, you can disable the tiles by just putting this underscore disabled in. So as you can see, I've disabled this auto tile here. So this is the one that I've been using to test. And that is it. That is the installation complete. Now what you can do, this auto ortho here can stay at the top. I found that that's worked really nicely for me. Okay, so just keep that up the top and you just want to hit file save and that's it auto ortho is now completely installed ready to use so now what i'm going to do is quickly show you how to actually use it okay so you want to go back here to your auto ortho release where you downloaded it open the application okay to get it to work okay all you want to do is hit run so i'll move this so you can see the command window hit run and as you can see that's now running and you can quit by hitting control C now what you want to do is open X plane and load into wherever you want so I'm gonna do that now and give you a very quick showcase all right guys welcome into X plane and as you can see here the auto auto is running very very nicely okay, this is all off auto auto this is not from my local PC this is all being streamed as you can see our buildings are great that is all sim heaven stuff right there so yeah this is a really really great piece of kit i absolutely love it uh using it for my flights uh, i've had no issues with it and i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope this helped you guys install it if you have any issues please let me know in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one